fuel injectors, how I clean them without any super fancy or expensive equipment. Let me show you. I have some fuel injectors straight from the wrecking yard. They need a good cleaning before they're installed. So, pretty standard is you have an O-ring on the top, O-ring on the bottom, and all you need to do is pressurize one end, add voltage to the two terminals, and whatever pressure is behind this side will spray out that side. Pretty basic. Now, to make it easier to touch these two terminals, sometimes they're deeper in fuel injectors. It's nice if you're at the wrecking yard just to cut off, a, you know, when you're getting them, just cut off the little plugs off the scrap car, and then that makes it a little easier, but you don't have to have it. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to make something that clamps over here really fast and easy, and we're going to use a tire valve stem Schrader valve. And we're going to take the co valve core that's inside, and we're going to pull that out. So no valve core, so it's just a, a hole that goes all the way through. And we're going to take that, and what that does is we're going to take the O-ring on top of the on the pressure side of the fuel injector. We're going to take it off carefully, and then that's a lot smaller than this, but it's very flexible. There we go. Snaps right over. So we can snap it on, and we got half of our contraption. Now we need to be able to pressurize this with something like carb cleaner to be able to spray it through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the valve cap. And I'm going to take a drill bit. Not quite centered, that's okay. We're going to take our can of spray stuff. We're going to take the straw off. We're going to take the straw and make sure it just barely fits through there. We made it just, we, I used the same size drill bit. And now I'm going to melt the end a little bit. All I wanted to do is expand. And then I'm just going to slide it down inside. And I pulled too hard. It's a delicate balance. Let's try that again. We're trying to make it seal on there. It's gumming up a little bit. We'll let it fall down there. Wedge itself in. Just like so. So now it's wedged in there. And now you could easily um, just put some, you could glue it, JB weld it. You could probably hot glue it. I'm going to plastic weld it with a, uh, with a soldering iron real fast. And just I'm going to kind of melt just from the top side a little bit of the black plastic into the red plastic done so that's all cooled and ready to use so now this plugs into here and this screws onto there so what we're gonna do is take our valve cap screw it on nice and tight Come over here to the vise, and let's lightly squeeze this inner vise. We're going to now attach our fluid, which is also our pressure, to the can, and we'll get it as straight as possible. It's not really binding. We'll take our plug, we'll attach that, and then I have 12 volts running this is just these two terminals are just connected to a 12 volt battery now this particular um, fuel injector likes 12 volts it won't actually operate on like 1.5 volts or even 3 volts but you should know that and if you don't know um, try it on just like a uh, just a regular battery or two batteries end to end try that first but this one likes 12 volts so what I'm going to do is, this isn't a perfect situation. I mean, this will blow off if you're not careful. So I'm going to use my hand to help hold it on and push down. And at the same time with my other hand, you can hear the... And every time, every time this touches, and you can also check, you know, I got a little bit of a leak right there, you can see, but that's okay. I was doing this quick and easy. I have another one that I've did a lot better, 
but you could actually, if you had time, you could glue that up and let that sit overnight. But this will, you know, it'll also tell you whether or not you got a leaky injector. You can watch your spray pattern. That injector's clean. There you go, how to make a quick and easy fuel injector cleaner adapter, you know, for under a couple, under two bucks. Yeah, it should only cost you a buck or so, but it took me under five minutes to even make. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to also uh, test your injectors while you have them out using a volt multimeter. Check the resistance across those two little terminals, and say you got a six cylinder, um, measure all six of them, and if one of the injectors is way different from the other ones, that one's bad. You know, if the resistance measures completely different than the other ones, um, it's going to be bad. But if they all measure virtually identical resistance, then they're all good. But it's just a good thing to do while you're in there. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hey, if you haven't already, subscribe, rate, and comment, right? Yeah, he says right. Thank you.